What's up guys, MGH here and welcome to another episode of my Manchester United career mode and as you guys requested, I am going to be doing Spain. Now, when I say I'm going to be doing Spain, obviously I'm still doing the Manchester United career mode but it means I've accepted the Spain offer and when there is a tournament in the summer or if there's any other games, internationals, I'll be making separate videos for those Spain matches but I wanted to show you the team that I've put together here for my Spain matches when eventually they do come up. So in goal we've got Casillas, we've got Carvalho, we've got PK, Sergio Ramos and Jordi Alba. We have Busquets, Navas, uh, Xavi, Iniesta, David Silva and Diego Costa who thankfully has been changed to the Spanish nationality. Obviously he was originally Brazilian in this game but now they have updated that which is great for me. On the bench we have two Martinez here. Um, two very solid players. We've got Cesc Fabregas, Juan Mata, who obviously plays for Man United in my career mode now. Uh, we have Isco, Pedro and Negredo. And then on the reserves, we've got De Gea, Raul Albiol, uh, or Albiol, whatever you want to call him, Juan Fran, Enrique and Santi Cazorla, who I just found out is actually called Santiago Cazorla. There you go. Interesting. So that's uh, the team that I've put together for Spain. But of course, that's not relevant anymore. This is the team that we're using at the moment. Um, Cruz being my new addition, playing as the central attacking midfielder. Can't wait for Ronaldo to get back. I don't think he's far off, actually. I don't think he's far off. Let's have a little look here. I think he's going to be six weeks. Oh, three weeks. Even better. So the mighty Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely on his way back soon. Now, one thing I want to mention as well is I thought I was out of the Capital One Cup. Turns out I'm an idiot and I forgot there is two legs in the semi-finals. So now we do have a chance to redeem ourselves. It is at home to Southampton, but I'm going to stick with my guns and I'm going to rely on the team to do the job in a simmed match and see if we can beat them. If we don't win this game, we're, we're losing 1-0 on aggregate. I'll be very, very disappointed. So here we go. Yeah, we've won 3-0. Simple as that. A 3-0 victory against Southampton that way, which means we do progress to the final of the Capital One Cup. I will definitely have to play that. But now, anyway, we're at the end of the transfer window. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing anything else with the squad. Cruz was my only signing this uh, this transfer window, and it's all I've needed. Looks like Arsenal aren't doing much either. Um, I'm considered an invaluable member of the Manchester United family. That's fantastic. 21,000, and the derby has been rescheduled against City. That's going to be one hell of a game coming up in the next few weeks. So, anyway, still nothing going on in my transfer window here. I'm not getting any offers for players. I thought maybe I'd get some offers, but... Clearly not. Now, bear in mind, we have lost Hernandez to Newcastle for 19 million, um, but we obviously got Cruz, so kind of a swap there because I think, you know, now that I've got Ronaldo and Royce and, you know, th those players can play up front as well. I didn't really need three strikers, including Welbeck and Rooney, so uh, I think that was the right thing to do. We have got an offer. Speaking of Danny Welbeck, uh, Lyon have asked, asked to sign him for 10 million. That's not much, is it? But um, I'm going to go ahead and just reject that. Um, I wouldn't sell him. I think actually Welbeck's pretty damn good in this game. He's a pretty overpowered prick, if you remember my video uh, when I was discussing Welbeck and Inzaghi, the legend, um, and them having the same stats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look in the bottom right. Giroud has gone to Barcelona for £14.5 million. That is never going to happen. Honestly, I'm so disappointed with him in the last half of this season. He started off so well, but I don't know. He's not Arsenal quality, and there's no way Barcelona would buy him <laughs> out of all the players they could probably get. We've got an offer for Cohen Trow here. There's no way I'm doing that. Cohen Trow's been a steady player for me. He's not the best in the game, but he's still better than freaking Evra and Butner. So he was definitely worth bringing in. But now into the last hour of the transfer window. Is anything going to happen? There we go. Right, today is the final day to submit my my team sheet for, for Spain. And I have decided that I think I'm just going to go with the team I've got. I don't need anyone else. I could go for someone like Valero, I could go for Soldado or David Villa, but I'm happy with my squad and that's the team I'm going to be taking. We have got an email, transfer deadline day ended, only 42 million was spent. That's not much, but again, another game here in the FA Cup, not massively bothered, but I think we'll beat Bolton at home. If we lose this game, then I deserve to be going out here. And sorry again if you don't like me simming matches, but... When are you going to win 4-0 like that? What's the point in playing the game? It's just annoying and a waste of time. And it means we can get into the big matches in the Premier League, which are coming up as we speak. Anyway, let's advance now. Here is the bit we've been waiting for, guys. Ronaldo is back from injury. I am so happy to say those words. It's about freaking time as well. He took forever. Um, so what I was thinking of doing is... 
I, I really like having Cruz in the team, so he's got to stay. It's whether I, if I want Royce or Mata, I need to decide who is going to be replaced for Ronaldo. I think, I think, I, I kind of want to get Royce. No, oh, it's so difficult. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Ronaldo back into the team and substitute Royce off there and put him on the bench. Just for now, I think I'll keep switching them around. There's no rush there. But um, the good news, guys, is you know when you've got problems like that, who do you pick? Out of Royce and Ronaldo, you know you've got a freaking good team. And Ronaldo is back. So he says here he's okay to play. It's all looking groovy. And we have a game against Stoke. So this game didn't go very well for United. I feel like I'm saying that every episode. But they did actually lose to Stoke. But then again, so did Arsenal. And um, Stoke seem to be a very good team at home once again this season. They're always very strong at home. Um, so I'm hoping I can pull off something here. But it's going to take a lot. Oh, Ronaldo's won it. He's won it. He's going to go for it. Cross goal. Oh, what a save by Sorensen. Ronaldo with the pace. Look at it. It's like he's not even running. It's crazy sometimes how quick he is. Get the cross in. Beautiful. Oh, it's come out to Mata. He's going to cut back. No, he's not because he's shit. What the fuck was that? No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. That was a little bit too close for my liking. I've got to say, Stoke are freaking difficult to break down, even on this game. Like, they're so freaking tall, strong and annoying. Come on, Rooney. Come on, son. Cruz is getting in the middle here. That's good. What the fuck? Why did I do that? Matt, wake up. Here goes Ronaldo. He's picked out Mata. He can cross them in well. Um... Okay, apparently Ronaldo wants to leave that. Here goes Cohen Trail, right? Second attempt at a cross here. Oh, it's a beauty. No, it's not. Come on, lads. Oh, for God's sake, I can't score. Oh, Ronaldo with the dummy. Oh, finally. Oh, God for that. Ronaldo, he, he created that on his own, and Cruz has scored it. Whoo! Finally we get the goal. That was a bit stressful because I thought, no, I cannot lose this match now. That is a lovely bit of play. Lovely run. Great finish. I can't concede in the 90th minute. Blow the whistle. Yes, there we go. We get the win, guys. Whoo! That was a stressful match against Stoke City, but we got the three points. Get in there. Cardiff have lost their last three games. They just got a red card in the first minute. Second minute, sorry. Can I get a win? Yep, there you go. Rooney, 1-0. Oh, and it's another 4-0. Easy game against Cardiff there. Ronaldo scores as well. Mata gets on the score sheet. But Rooney with the double. Fantastic. So now we go into the game against Crystal Palace. And our players will probably be a little bit tired here. So I will going to be using... I think I'm going to use kind of like a weakened team here. Um, now, we, we obviously saw Crystal Palace get beaten by United in real life. So I'm hoping at least I can match that. Probably more than they won. Let's do a complete refresh. Come on. Give me a good team here. There we go. Now that by Welbeck is absolutely world class. He's got to finish it. Get in there, son. He should have done that against Bayern Munich. Why did he do that stupid chip? But what a beautiful bit of play by Welbeck there. Playing that CF role. Controlling the ball, passing it, moving, and then he's on, he's through on goal. And he just powers, he absolutely leathers this. Fantastic goal. Seven minutes in, guys, and we're 1-0 up already. Get away from me, Palace. Get away from me. Woo, Giggs there to save the day. Running with Butner here. Come on, get the cross in. Oh, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. Welbeck is an overpowered prick. Seriously, man, he's just ridiculous on this game. Why is Welbeck so good on FIFA? I I guess, you know, if you think about his stats, they make the perfect striker. He's tall, he's quick, he's good in the air, he's strong. You know, he's got everything in this game. And that is a great leap and a great header, and that makes it 2-0. Balassi on the ball. Oh, what a tackle. The rebound's gone straight to them. Though. Oh, that's just wide there. To be honest, though, guys, you know, I feel like this game's kind of over already. Because every time I attack, I feel like I'm going to score. And that's even with this weakened team. But there you go. 2-0 at half time. Let's get into the second half. Well, Beck's got it. Can he get the good cross in? He can. Kagawa. Oh, it's come out to Yanazai, who's just hit the defender. It's happening again. Look. It happened again. I'm going to have a shot. Go on. Oh. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. This deserves a goal. Come on, Kagawa. Come on. Yes, surely going in. Yes. What a finish. Kagawa, I think he's got to play. I, there's something about him in this game. I just seem to play so much better when I've got Kagawa on the field. I mean, look at this. Such a delicate touch just before Spironi got to the ball there. Fuck's sake. I had to, didn't I? I had to concede a goal. Through to Fellaini. Surely. Yeah, it's done, guys. Absolutely done. Fellaini is a monster in this game. Everyone thinks he's shit in real life. Probably agree. But what a player he is in FIFA. He's just the ultimate midfielder for me. I might have to get him in my next career mode, actually. Which, by the way, after I've done Reading and uh, Man United, I'm thinking of doing AC Milan. Let me know what you think about that. Last attack of the game for Crystal Palace. And it's cleared by Smalling. And there we go, guys. The end of the episode. We finally get... A fantastic win against a very decent team at home there. 4-1! What a result! That is absolutely fantastic. And I'll see you in the next episode. And by the way, if you do want to buy any FIFA coins, check out the gamekeys.co.uk. Link in the description. You can get 5% off using the discount code MGH. And get your coins within 3 seconds with their instant delivery.